Not for centuries has the Catholic Church in Scotland been so racked by scandal. Already its leader has resigned. Now more damaging allegations have emerged. Well, these are the medieval ruins of St Andrew's Cathedral, the ancient seat of bishops and archbishops of St Andrew's since the 12th century. The latest holder of the office was Cardinal Keith O'Brien, the man at the centre of allegations of inappropriate relationships with junior priests. He's denied any wrongdoing and has stepped down. But now, damaging claims are resurfacing about how the church under Cardinal O'Brien handled past allegations of abuse. Right, this is my mother and father came out with a good friend. Martin Hannan was a trainee priest as a teenager at a Scottish seminary called Blair's College, where now Cardinal O'Brien later became rector. Hannan says boys, including himself, were routinely propositioned there, and worse. We know that um, at least one priest uh, carried out uh, a very serious sexual abuse of a 14, 15-year-old boy. Um, that priest went to jail for that. That was back in the 1970s when I was at Blair's. There's no suggestion any abuse took place when Keith O'Brien was in charge, but he did have contact with the abused boy, known only as Michael X. It was years after the abuse took place here at Blair's College near Aberdeen that Michael X, by then married with children, discovered that his abuser was still serving as a parish priest. He complained to the then Archbishop Keith O'Brien who chose not to go to the police, but to deal with the matter internally. The priest was sent to a church clinic for sex offenders. The church paid Michael X more than $60,000. But the abuse was only reported to the police by Michael X himself several years later, when he discovered the priest was still working with children. In the past, there was definitely an institutionalised culture of cover-up that allowed abuse to flourish. The poor victim didn't get any help at all. And people like Michael X, who was so horrendously abused, uh, had to get on with their life and suffer horrendous psychological trauma. CNN asked Cardinal O'Brien about the allegations of a cover-up, but received no response. Back in 2010, though, the Cardinal apologised on behalf of the church to those who had suffered abuse. Catholics who were aware of such crimes and did not act to report them, he said, bring shame on us all. But some victims want more than apologies amid calls for a full investigation into the Scottish Church's past. Until then, critics say old scandals may continue to haunt its future. Matthew Chance, CNN, St Andrews, Scotland.